All right, let's talk about what's going on with the mayor. The latest investigation mm -hmm. into his 2021 mayoral campaign. Just days after Mayor Adams' phone was seized by the FBI, federal authorities are now looking into whether the Turkish government benefited from making donations to his campaign. There's lots of concerns and, quite frankly, a lot of con confusion surrounding this case. So we're bringing in investigative reporter Dan Crowell to help us basically understand it all. How do you even begin, Dan, to break this down? It just seems so complex. It's confusing, right? But it's the number one question people ask me all weekend long. What's going on with the mayor? Mm -hmm. There's basically three different tiers going on here right now. We have the, the main investigation. The feds are looking into whether any federal foreign money was funneled into his campaign in exchange for favors. We know that's been going on for a couple weeks now. That's why they searched Brianna Sugg's home looking for campaign finance records. Now we have the Turkish official component to this. So let's set the scene for you. Let's take you back to September of 2020. Uh, the mayor just won the primary. He's not mayor yet. He's Brooklyn Borough President. And the Turkish embassy is looking to open up the Turkish consulate mm -hmm. on the east side. They want to open up this brand new state-of-the-art building, but they're having problems with all the alarm systems. And they have a problem here because the UN's in town, the president of Turkey's coming, and they need to cut that ribbon. So sources tell us that a Turkish official texted the mayor and said, do you know the FDNY commissioner? Because they needed a temporary certificate of occupancy. They needed to open those doors. Sources tell us the mayor texted the FDNY commissioner and that certificate of occupancy was granted. It opened up, the ribbon was cut, but the question here is whether it was in exchange for any type of favors, which we do not know. Now, the mayor is saying that that is not uncommon to have constituents ask for, maybe you can help us usher a project along their people are saying, his pe people are saying, that's, there's nothing there there as far as that. Correct. He says this was business as usual. Business as usual. My question is, is how, how unique is it to have a warrant issued to take the electronic devices of the mayor as part of this federal investigation? Very, very rare. Now, the FBI asks for search warrants all the time, but not for government officials and not for the mayor of the largest city in the country. So picture this. A federal agent has to go into a courtroom and ask a judge to get a search warrant to open up this phone of the mayor of New York City. So they had to go in and present a story to that judge with convincing evidence and probable cause to say, we want to get into that phone, and the judge signed that warrant. So you can picture this playing out. The mayor's in his SUV. They asked the Secret Service to step aside and said, Mr. Mayor, can we please have both your cell phones, probably the work and the personal, and your iPad? And they returned it a few days later. So how concerned? Should, should the mayor be? Because I know that this is a violation of what I've learned about straw donor laws. That's what they're investigating here. And how, how, how hefty of a, of a, of a you know, well, law is this in the, terms of violating it? What's going on here is we're learning that this investigation is growing in scope and it's growing in implications. The mayor says he's not worried. He has said repeatedly he hasn't done anything wrong, and he okay. tells all of his workers they have to do everything by the book. Um, but we do know that this is a very rare situation, and we can tell by his latest statement that he is just as concerned about the investigation as he is about the leaks. He said most recently, we hope that investigators will continue to cooperate with us and reprimand any federal officer who had improperly leaked details about this investigation. It, so we all believe mm -hmm. that if the mayor hadn't gone to D.C., canceled the trip and turned around, we probably wouldn't even know about this information yet <gasps> yeah, because which, of these leaks that are happening. Which we raised at the point, and I, and I know we have to run, but it also in the statement over the weekend, he said, Again, I am not accused of any wrong I am not in accused. the official statement. He's not. So. But this investigation is growing larger. We're going to be hearing much more about it. He's having a press conference in a few minutes, okay. and I'll have the latest for everyone oh, at wow. noon. Oh, great. It, great. All right. Well, I know you'll stay on top of it. Mm -hmm. Dan, thank you as thank always. You, thank you.